One thing we look at, you hear this a lot, El Nino, La Nina. Well, as we transition into winter, we do have a developing La Nina. What does that mean? That is cooler than average temperatures here developing in the equatorial Pacific. And what happens when we change the water temperatures here? That has a or plays a big factor in large scale weather patterns across the northern tier here of the U.S. So what happens when we start to see a La Nina forming, typically we get this ridge to form in the northern Pacific. That allows the jet stream to ride around that ridge buckle here across the northern tier of the U.S. allows that cooler air to pour on it. But notice the placement of this jet stream as well, slicing right through the middle of the country, but then into parts of the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes. And that could steer more active weather our way. So as we zoom on in, this is the outlook and this is what we are forecasting here as we go into winter. And just keep in mind that this will change from time to time. There are just so many fine details that go into a forecast like this. So this is just a general view. Cooler than average temperatures here across the northern tier of the country. Warmer off to the south and east. No strong signal here in Chicago. So we're not looking at cooler or warmer likely getting close to near average in terms of that winter temperature. But as we transition over to that precipitation outlook, we are in the bullseye for wetter than average conditions here. So you might say, oh, that means more snow. Not necessarily. This could come in the form of rain, ice, sleet, and snow all together. So that big picture is that we have the developing La Nina, but keep in mind that we do have near record warm ocean temperatures right now. So we really haven't seen a La Nina in history look exactly like this one. Temperatures in Chicago, no strong signal. We just touched on that precipitation above average looking more likely as of now. We compare this to last winter where we basically had a non-winter. We had a very strong El Nino in place. The average temperature was 34.9 degrees. It was the fifth warmest winter here on record. We had very little snowfall. So we compare that to what we're forecasting as we head into this winter with that development La Nina. We're looking at temperatures closer to near average, which is 28.1, and the possibility for more snow than last year. But that is not saying a lot. And as we take a look at the past couple of years, only one back in 2020 to 2021 is when we had a winter with above average snowfall. But you can see below average definitely winning out over the past five years. So a lot to dive into here over the next couple of months. But of course, we will always keep you posted. Outside, it is definitely a nice day with our temperatures returning back to near average with mostly clear skies. This morning, we woke up in the 20s and 30s again. Temperatures getting milder now. We're going to see a push of warmer air into the weekend. Outside currently in the mid 60s overnight, we drop into the 30s and 40s, so not as as chilly and we are noting a warm signal just back to the west. You can see 80s there. We're not going to get that warm, but mid to upper 70s on the way as we head into the weekend. A very quiet weather pattern currently. So for tonight, down into the 30s and 40s. Tomorrow we'll look at mostly sunny skies continuing near 70 by